good morning and welcome back to another 5 a.m. stir. It's been a while since I filmed one of these and to be honest, it's because it's very painful for me to wake up early. That's clearly why I decided to go into healthcare because obviously I enjoy the pain. Just kidding. Surgeon Kev's morning routine is only five minutes, so he's already heading out the door. We never skip a morning session of the cuddles, and yes, Lucky has his own doll-sized version of a human bed. The goal of the morning routine is simple. I need to look well enough so that I don't personally look like a patient. There are a few simple things that I can do in the morning to make me feel a lot more confident throughout my day. You may have noticed that I recently got my hair balayage, and I do feel like this makes me look way more approachable for some reason. Of course, we gotta do the bare minimum, brush our teeth and wash our face. Before the pandemic, I literally never had acne on my chin but to this day I'm still dealing with really bad chin masny so if you have any tips let me know this toner smells so good it smells like roses and honestly just wakes me up and you guys know I'm such a big fan of Taja this is the water cream and I actually ran out of my full bottle so I had to use the last bit of my travel size if you have flat Asian hair like I do a little texture tease really goes such a long way so this is day two here and nothing like a little spray just the roots to kind of fluff things up. The best part about this is that it's gonna go into a scrub cap almost immediately after I get to work so nobody will see this. Finally the two-step makeup routine all we're gonna do is put on some concealer and then of course we gotta fill in our eyebrows so we don't look crazy. A little bit of lip balm so we don't have chapped lips. This stuff is black magic. I think I saw it on more DIY stories and it literally just gets rid of all of your flyaways. Highly recommend. Got it off of Amazon. Today we're tackling a shift that is probably going to be just perfect. <laughs> my expectations are low, but my hopes are high. Life may be hard, but as the scrub cap says, you got this. You guys know it's been really hard on my mental health being in Seattle, but I'm not gonna lie, having this little Pikachu-like thing that follows me everywhere is just absolutely precious. I don't think I can do it without him. The same way I would never let 150 strangers in my house first thing in the morning, I try not to scroll my phone and get sucked into reading negative news, comments, and DMs. As a major introvert, and homebody anytime I have to talk to other humans I usually have to prepare myself for that nothing like a little self-care journaling and cuddling in the morning so that I can show up as my best self and slay not just slay big slay I would lie and tell you that I meal prep and eat super healthy on my shifts, but honestly, I don't. Breakfast is usually skipped, or should I call it intermittent fasting? Because that sounds way more intentional. Lunch is a bit of a hit or miss. Sometimes it doesn't happen until 4 p.m., and sometimes it's just me eating hot Cheeto puffs intermittently throughout the day. Nevertheless, I usually make an effort to pack something. Showing you guys what's in my bag super quick. Of course, we have the Panini Essentials. Then we have the on-the-go first aid kit. Make sure you always have Tylenol or Advil. You will be everyone's best friend. Then we have the beauty essentials. The color science sunscreen is an absolute must. I have to have a 0.38 pen. It just makes everything look so much better. And I recently discovered the Tide to Go pen and my life has been forever changed. I like to wear white a lot and I always have stains on my clothes. So this gets them off right away. A lovely subscriber actually sent this to our PO box and I've been using this AirPod case ever since. And we have my cute little Dior wallet. This is one of my first luxury purchases that I got in Hawaii. It's the same one that Susie has and it is so cute. I love it. We gotta say bye to the Buttos. He's a pretty independent boy. He loves staying at home and doing his own thing. One of the best things about the Pacific Northwest is the summers and the fact that our sunrise starts at, I don't know, maybe 5 a.m. and sunset isn't until 9 or 10 p.m., which is pretty crazy. Ever since I moved to Seattle, I've been in the outpatient setting. For those unfamiliar with healthcare, you can either work in the hospital, aka inpatient, or out of the hospital, aka outpatient. It was a big change from being in the ICU to a much lighter, happier environment. My patients are generally incredibly nice, in a good mood, and very grateful. I'm less stressed, less sleep deprived, and similarly, very grateful. Many people ask if I miss inpatient, and to be honest, almost never. And if you're wondering if I miss all the skills, not really, because I've gained brand new ones that I never had before either. In healthcare, most of us continue to serve in and outside of our work lives, so it's important that you are actually happy creating the impact that you do. I often joke that I've been losing brain cells ever since I graduated college, but I'm thankful nursing always forces me to critically think. Your brain's a muscle, and if you aren't challenging it, at least from time to time, you'll lose what you've worked so hard to build. The days are long, and they're usually very busy, and I honestly enjoy that it forces me to unplug. 
As a content creator, I feel like our brains never stop and I'm always trying to think of the next video idea, what's the next thing I should do, and I will admit it's really nice to just be nurse Mickey for a little bit and not have to worry about anything else. I think a lot of people are quick to complain about nursing and if I'm being honest, there's definitely a lot of improvement. We need stronger advocates, enforced ratios, mandated breaks, better treatment, better pay, you name it. It's no secret that we need to treat our nurses better, but I have to be honest and say that on the West Coast, things are pretty good, at least where I've been. No job is perfect and there will always be things to complain about and I'm very thankful that my time at work is 100% off. I often think about Kevin's ongoing career as a surgeon and how it's possible that he could potentially be on call for the rest of his life. That's a massive commitment and I don't wish that schedule upon anyone if I'm being honest. Congratulations, we made it to the end of this shift. Just got back. I've only been home for like 20 minutes and I've already popped a massive pimple on me. Um, I'm super bloated from the food that I eat today. If you guys have been following me for some time that you know that I have struggled on and off with dandruff and it got way better and I literally didn't have any dandruff for some time. But just recently it came back and I also have colored hair so I have a really special hair care regimen. This anti-dandruff shampoo seriously works wonders. So I always use this to wash my scalp first. And every once in a while, I use the Fanola No Orange Shampoo. This is really good for colored hair. It's how I'm able to like keep and maintain the color pretty well. Normally, these two products are the ones that I use and they were great. They don't smell the best if I'm being honest. They kind of give off a chemical smell, but honestly, my hair color has never like retained better. Oh my God, this is $10 and it was a solution to all of my dandruff. This is from The Ordinary. It's glycolic acid toning solution. This hair towel, by the way, such a lifesaver. Hair is very colored and fragile. I have to use microfiber, and so this really helps to make sure my hair doesn't have any sort of breakage. The way that I do this, I usually do it when my scalp is still wet, and I take the toning solution. So my dandruff is worse in these two kind of patches, but it's kind of just all throughout. And all you have to do, y'all, is take the little bottle, and it has an applicator. So you just put a little bit into your scalp and rub it in. You don't need a lot, like just a little bit will rub into a pretty big area. Kevin says, we just finished rounding. Can you please come in five minutes? He has his 10 year high school reunion today, which is kind of cute. I think he's gonna try to make it. Tatcha water cream, I cannot recommend more. Like seriously, the one moisturizer that has absolutely changed my life and changed my skin. Oh my God, I was gonna relax and like work out and stuff. But Kevin's like rushing me, he's like, you have to come. Let's go, I've got the goods. Burks are on. We love the traffic in Seattle. Careful, there's a little pull thing there. It's fine, it'll just fall over. <laughs> this, you gotta no, getting this on camera. Come on, make the light. Your high school 10 year I'm class I'm so reunion, babe. old. Can you tell us about your day? How was your day? Uh, it was fine. I learned a lot of new surgery techniques. Somebody here is very frustrated by the traffic after a long, hard day's work. Tell me about how your work was. Did you already tell the people? It was fine. How was your day? Ah, it was fine. Nothing about work frustrated me the way this traffic does. <laughs> Are you so excited to attend your high school reunion? I just want free food. Are you gonna vlog it for us? No. Are you looking fancy for your high school reunion? Ooh, you got the ABC pants on, babe. Wow! Asian born Chinese. Bye, have a good time. Okay. So we have a bunch of PR boxes that we need to unbox here and I'm about to do a little taste test so I'm super excited. If you've never seen on Instagram, you guys know that I am obsessed with cheesecake and I have a whole cheesecake series. So if you don't already follow me there, make sure you do because who doesn't wanna get reviews of um, every single cheesecake on planet Earth? Today, we're reviewing this very, very fancy cheesecake. Oh my, can you guys see the crumble? I think she was $18.99, which is actually not that bad because the Latau one is $50. So hopefully this one is up to par. Before we taste test this, I wanna let you know that I'm actually partnering with the YouTube team. 
I know that's like so crazy to say. I am partnering with YouTube to give away to you a super, super exciting and special and limited edition that I know you guys are gonna love. Make sure that you tune in to my channel and watch the YouTube short that I post about it on Wednesday, June 22nd. You do not wanna miss out. Mmm. Wait, I actually really like this. Oh my God. She's kind of a juicy texture. And then on the outside, she's very crumbly. It kind of has a more milky, cheesy flavor compared to the Latau one. And I kind of like it because it feels a little bit lighter. It's something that I could eat for longer periods of time. We are gonna do the PR unboxing with no scissors because I'm smart like that. From Murad, we have this cute little skincare supplement. They look very, very cute. I need to do a little bit more research. Ah, it's a sunscreen line. I actually really, really love their sunscreen. I always take it with me to Hawaii. We have a cute little tote here. I love totes. We have some stickers and a cute little ring and a little pin patch. She's cute. Next up, I have no idea what's in here. Okay, I always call this Versed because I work in healthcare. I didn't realize until recently that it's actually Burst, which makes a lot of sense. So inside we have a little, uh, why do I look like the giant baby from Spirited? away like that's the energy it's giving me they sent us a bunch of goodies retinol sika overnight patches Ooh, this looks really fancy i actually might use this tonight the clover shape needle patch provides intensive care for skin troubles oh my god i need these so bad oh my god this looks so cool you know when she comes in like a heavy bottle you know it's serious Oh my god, I've been waiting for this package for forever. If you're Taiwanese and you know, this is straight up the best instant ramen I've ever had in my entire life. The kimchi flavored one is so good. It's called Laika. I had to special order these from Taiwan. I'll link it down below for you guys.